Today I will be painting a butterfly using Mayahimi Jelly Gouache. I'm going to start off by taping down my watercolor paper. This watercolor paper is Master Touch watercolor paper. I get it at Hobby Lobby and it just comes in a little pad. It's six by eight and I'm just using regular masking tape to attach it to my board. This way when I paint it won't curl or wrinkle. I also like using tape because it gives a nice little white border at the very end when I am finished with my painting. I'm using an angled brush. But before I do that, I wanna spray my paint just to make sure it's nice and wet. Keeps it wet in the palette. I'm gonna start off with a dark blue. It's a Prussian blue, I believe. And I'm going to decide where the body of my uh, butterfly is going to be. Then I'm gonna add horizontal lines in the middle of my body and some diagonal lines going down and up from my body as well. There's the main map of my butterfly. Now in the bottom section, I want my wings to curl around kind of a circle. So I'm gonna add these um, circles to the bottom of my butterfly wings. You can see if you make a circle that you don't really like, you can kind of just keep playing with it until you get a shape that you do like. And I started off just kind of watery and I just wanted to kind of keep it light. I'm adding a little bit more paint along the outside edges of my circles to make it a little bit darker. When I use gouache, I usually like to start off with kind of a thin layer of paint first. So just to kind of cover um, the paper and to kind of map out where I want things. And then I will go in and add the thicker paint um, as like a second coat. So my goal for this part of the painting is just to kind of lay down um, a thin coat of paint where I want my lines to be kind of mapping out my painting. So I've got just some nice thin blue and the water is what thins it out. And I do wanna kind of darken the edges just a little bit so those stand out a little more. I'm kind of filling in the center part of my butterfly. And now I'm gonna leave that and add some to the background. So for my background, I'm starting off with a really light yellowy green. And it's also very watery and thin. And then while I'm doing that, I'm dipping into a little bit of a blue green, um, just to kind of have a variety of color. And as long as the paint is wet, um, the colors can kind of blend together. And when doing things like butterflies or birds or things that are outside, even flowers, um, I like to have kind of a blurry background so that the focus is mainly on whatever I'm painting, in this case, a butterfly. So by kind of going back and forth between these two colors, using lots of little brush strokes, it makes the background kind of a nice blended, muted um, color, I guess. So the, the transition from the light to the dark green is blurry and soft. And I'm just kind of playing with that in the background. All right, now I'm gonna go in and start using a little bit more paint to add some detail to my butterfly. I'm starting off by the edges and I'm using that same dark blue that I was using before. I could use black for this and probably the, the butterfly should be black, but I, I really try not to use much black in my paintings. I feel like it's it kind of is a dull um, addition, so I, I prefer to for my darks to either mix my own black by using maybe like a blue and brown mixed together or um, blue, red, and yellow mixed together. Um, but in this case, I'm just gonna go straight with a, a really dark blue. It just has a little bit more vibrancy to it. And it makes the, the painting, I think, just have a little bit more, more color, more life. 
I'm just kind of going around the outside edges of the wings. I do want those to be rather dark and they will be in the final painting. Um, so I can just kind of fill that area in nice and dark. I'm still using my same brush. The entire time I've been using this um, angled brush, it comes with this with this painting, or with this jelly gouache actually. There's a little um, holder on the right side. You can kind of see just the top of it where there are um, brushes. So it's kind of nice to include those with this set. Now I'm adding in some greens. Um, this is kind of like a turquoise green, uh, blue green. And I'm starting with the center of the butterfly and kind of using these brush strokes sweeping out towards the edges. All right, I let that dry a little bit um, and now I'm gonna kind of go over it with a little bit of some blue. I'm just trying to kind of keep my brush strokes always at an angle towards the outside. I thought towards the outer edges, I wanna throw in some yellow. And the yellow is picking up a little bit of the blue, which is okay. It just kind of makes some green mixtures happening. When using gouache paint, um, even if my layer underneath is dry and I start brushing over it with wet paint or with water, you can reactivate that layer. So to put the bright yellow on, I really need to just kind of add some paint and move on. The more I brush it, the more it'll pull up that color from underneath. Um, so I'm kind of trying to be careful not to do that too much. I'm throwing some red in the middle of my green and my yellow just to add a pop of a different color. Red and green are opposites on the color wheel, so putting them next to each other can really make things kind of sing, which is fun to play with uh, when painting. So I wanted to go pretty bright in the middle and add kind of a pop of color. I'd like to lighten up the center part of my butterfly. It's a little bit dark, so I'm going over that with a little bit more light green. I'm just trying to remember too that everywhere I go on one side, I'm trying to match on the other side to try to get that symmetry with this butterfly painting. So kind of keep that in mind and really try to get those sides to match if you can. So you can see I'm adding something to one side, jumping over to the other and trying to add it there as well. I'm gonna leave my butterfly for a little bit, let it dry, and I'm gonna add another layer to my background. So again, I'm using this really light green, and as I kind of brush over some of the stuff I've already done, it'll reactivate a little bit, um, which is just fine in the background, I don't mind. It'll kind of help with that blurry effect that I'm going for. And I'm just trying to add a little more paint so that it's not quite as transparent in the background, not quite as see-through. And I'm just painting around my gouache, trying to stay away from the edges of my butterfly. I accidentally went over it a little bit there, but it's not a big deal. I can always go back over the butterfly with some blue. I'm trying to paint in lots of different directions in the background so that I don't have like two regular of paint brush strokes. It'll kind of give the indication of like greenery in the background, things like that. I'm going back over that little section with some blue so that I, my edges of my butterfly are nice and crisp. Especially after I added all the color I'm also adding a little bit of the dark in the inside of the butterfly wings too. Just kind of playing around. The body is kind of getting lost, so I wanted to darken that a little bit, bring that back. Add a little bit of the blue around the wings. Just to make that nice and solid. So 
So I'm using a little bit of white mixed with my green. I wanted to just really brighten up that center because it looks so dark. So I mixed a little bit of the two together to kind of lighten up that color. Now I'm using the blue to add the antenna of the butterfly. Trying to just use the tip of my brush. I'm also just kind of pulling some lines through while my paint is still wet. Then it kind of makes them a little bit more subtle. Just like pulling them in towards the middle. I'm gonna wipe off my brush really well. I'm switching to a smaller brush and I'm just gonna add those little dots along the outside edges in a kind of a bright color. So I'm using kind of this golden yellow and I'm just tossing in a couple little dots into my blue for my butterfly. All right. Time to take off the tape to reveal that wonderful, nice, crisp, clean border. And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed painting with me today. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button below and come back again for more painting fun. Thanks guys.